All right, guys, so we just got to Murano. Here, you just gonna wanna see how the glass making stuff is done. We ordered 18 pieces <laughs> of chiquete. What's up, Jaycationers? It's day three here in Venice, Italy. We're about to leave our Airbnb. It's a Sunday, so we're gonna find out how life is here in Venice on a Sunday, what things are closed, what stores, what restaurants, and everything else. One, but we're two, gonna three. head over to Murano and then maybe Burano. So Murano from here, we're on a different part of the island. It takes about 52 minutes to an hour to get to, so. Enjoy this vlog, please subscribe, hit the like button. I've done a Burano video already, so go check that out right below. All right, Jaycationer, so we are headed towards the glass making island of Murano. We've got the family in the back following me. I gotta be the team leader, basically the tour guide of this trip. So 59 minutes away is the glass making island of Murano. We're gonna go check it out. It's a Sunday, so hopefully some of the glass making is still going on, but if not, We'll be in a quiet, closed down island. So I'm not sure if that's what my Airbnb host told me was the narrowest street in all of Venice, but it could have been. I barely fit through it. Murano is only 3.5 kilometers from Venice and can take as short as 10 minutes by Vaporetto travel time depending on what part of Venice you're staying in. From Salute, we had to go around the island, so it took us about 40 to 50 minutes by ACTV water bus. There are numerous day trips that you could take from Venice, such as a train ride to Verona and trips to the colorful island of Burano and also Lido Island. If you want to see some of the famous Italian glass making, Murano is the place to go. Alright guys, so we just got to Murano, about a 20 minute ride from where the train station is on the Line 3. Uh, we, are, we got off on the Colonia stop. Now, the Colonia, there's different stops in Murano, but the Colonia stop is uh, where all the glass making is. So it starts, it's the very start of the island, and then you can walk your way in. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Lang. Hi, Vlad. Hi, Vlad. Luces. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, we are in Murano, the famous glass factory. So we are, we are very much interested to take a look at all the pieces here. Let's just go to that cemetery right now. Come on. No, I don't want to do that. The cemetery is on the Isla di San Michele and neighbors nearby Murano. So that island, like I said, on the other side is the famous cemetery island of Venice. So they have all the monuments and crypts of all the Venetians through the years. Daming mumo. Along the way, we saw storefronts which sell some of the more expensive Murano glass on the island. Murano doesn't have as many colorful buildings as Burano does, but Burano is just like a 30 to 40 minute boat ride away. Um, here, you just kind of want to see how the glass making stuff is done and also uh, just walk around it. There's more canals and it's more uh, brick buildings in this area, so a bunch of brick buildings and canals. Surrounding the canal and beautiful brick buildings of Murano hang the flags of the European Union and the flag of the Republic of Venice, which features the Lion of St. Mark. We visited fairly early on a Sunday morning just as shops were about to open for business. Hey man, why don't you want to take pictures? Too hot. Where's that uh, color, colorful building? Those colorful buildings are actually in Burano. Check out my past video on this colorful island linked below. Gang. Gang gang. So it's definitely a lot more solemn here on a Sunday, a lot quieter. Still a few tourists roaming around. There's a few restaurants and bars open and a few more stores, but for the most part, a lot of things are closed. Once you reach the middle of the island, you will see the Chiesa di San Pietro Martire and the clock tower called the Torre del Orologio. In front of it is this beautiful glass display that gets swapped out every few months or so. So this right here is a pretty cool picture up. You get a little clock tower in the back with a glass tree, obviously with the glass made here in Murano. 
nice and relaxing feel right next to a church hanging out parents are shopping looks like they're grabbing some souvenirs so I'm just sitting down in the shade because it's a hot summer day around this part of Murano you'll find numerous arts and craft shops that sell some of the island's glass Although some glass may cost a fortune, there are plenty of glass souvenirs that are sold at a budget price. So another thing that's gonna happen when you're traveling with family, especially with a group of seven, people are gonna go off on their own, gonna wanna shop, gonna wanna sit down and eat, take pictures, go and just peruse around so right now we're doing a lot of a lot of waiting so this is some vlog time here in Morano. Unfortunately we were not able to find a glass factory that was open on the Sunday that we visited so I suggest looking online ahead of time to confirm a place to visit. So like we've been waiting for the fam for like the last hour or so bro. Yeah. I mean tough. we're enjoying the scenery and stuff but like when you're waiting around I'm trying to do something. Yeah, cue the Jeopardy music Dude. with some B-roll. Cue the SpongeBob time theme. Ten hours. This guy used to call Spongebob Bow Bob. Hey, Bob Bob. That's, Bob Bob. That's, that's my guy, Bob Bob. Bob, Bob. If y'all ain't know about Bob Bob, then y'all should know about Bob Bob. Bro. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. So I know the Familia needs to go to the restroom, but it's so hard to find a restroom here. Me and Jello kind of want some gelato right now, so we're gonna con them into getting us some gelato so they can use the restroom. Lucky for us, we found this amazing gelato spot called Crema and Chocolato right in the middle of the island and perfect for a little break. Hey, we got the gelato we wanted. So, I'm satisfied, Gigi's satisfied. I think everybody's satisfied because there's air conditioning in here. And there's a restroom in here, so we got it. Out on this courtyard was this amazing and artsy glass display that you can admire while sitting down and enjoying some gelato. Since my family are huge Game of Thrones fans, we found this really cool mini glass dragon to purchase for a souvenir. Many of the glass factories in Murano are family owned and passed down from generation to generation. Quite a few glass makers around are siblings who learn from their elders. The art of glass making is a very difficult craft and many can admire this art when visiting Murano. The main reason why you don't see very much glass making in the actual town of Venice is because the government did not want to risk the city from catching on fire if there was an accident in a glass factory with one of the many furnaces they used to create the glass. So in order to avoid this catastrophe from happening, they moved all the glass factories three and a half kilometers away from Venice, far enough and safely away from the delicate and precious city of Venezia. We ordered 18 pieces of chiquette, three orders at 15 euros each. Uh, it's a mezzaluna, so it's a folded over sandwich with like parma ham and cheese. Although this place had very good chiquette, prices were definitely a lot more inflated than it would be in Venice. If you're planning to visit Murano and Burano, visit Burano first as it's further and gets crowded much faster as the day goes on. All right, so we tried to go to Burano, but the line for the water taxi was so long that we just stayed here in Murano and grabbed some chiquete for lunch. It was like 80 euro for the seven of, seven of us. That was the same exact bill we had at Zanin yesterday, and we had way more at Zanin. And I had drinks and espresso and everything over there, way cheaper at Zanin. So depending on this line, we might head to Burano, but I honestly doubt it because it's so hot out here. Like, we were actually finna burn up. That one is but, um... Either that, if Burano doesn't work out, we're just going to head back. We're yeah. going to head back to Venice. We're going to chill. We're going to chill. For budget souvenirs, head to the one euro glass shop. That's where we picked up our new friend, Audi Pig. Alright guys, so if you like this travel guide from... Mm, where are we at? Oh, Murano. If you yeah, like this travel Murano. guide from Murano, please like, comment, and subscribe on the link below. Hit that red button. Subscribe to the vacation, guys. Later. Uh...